speaking of not knowing what to do when you're getting smoked, I wanted to watch ICFC today because a lot of people have been asking about Gold Lewis. Gobo was in top four of the tournament, actually. Very good. He played Jiro first, which I don't know if you guys know Jiro, but Jiro is an Anji player. And this is a new version where Anji is, you know, different than before. So I figured we do a little bit of match analysis. Gobo is mad good. He has been playing Gold Lewis a lot, right? A lot less Zato. And Anji is just really different. Like he's way, way different than what he was like before. First bit of match analysis. Both of these are a little ugly. I don't really love this Lime Anji situation that much. And I don't really love this Gold Lewis outfit. He's got a lot of good colors, but. These are kind of ugly. But yeah, both of these characters, I mean, I want to watch them in this version in particular, right? Because Anji's mad different. Gold Lewis, everybody's like, dude, Gold Lewis now. He's so good. Oh my God. He's basically, he's not that different. Uh, you all just didn't know what he did before. You never played the matchup. You didn't know what the character did. He's not that different. His 2K buff is huge, by the way. That is really bad. Yeah, so if you guys don't know about his BTs, right? So the BT he starts with is 684, which is very common. It's like his, his mid-range BT. This is the overhead, right? Incredibly plus. He does 2K, counter hit, and then this BT. This is the one you see the most, probably, right? This is 268. This BT is plus three point blank. Okay, and it's more plus the farther he is. Up to, I believe, plus 12 is what it can be. He can frame trap you after. Uh, he can just do it again, and it cranks your risk, and it does a shit ton of chip. This is not a hit, right? So he does it. He does get hit by 2K, but look at the this, shit, this BT does more damage than the 2K did on hit. You see that? <laughs> so keep that in mind. That that's, that's what you're looking at here. This character does an absurd amount of chip, an absurd amount of risk, Oh, man. And then you block that. He's incredibly plus. He's plus again. And the way he plays... Oh, no. Oh, he was early. I think he thought that was going to combo. The way he plays mid-range, notice how much he does jump dust as a poke. He has a really low jump arc. And so a lot of neutral against Gold Lewis. Oh, this is a big starter. I think 2D Ko is better, though, isn't it? Maybe? I'm not sure. I, this might have been a better route. I might be tripping. Maybe it's close that that's better. But essentially, right? Like, oh, you're dead. Essentially, his jump dust is an absurd, absurd poke. It's incredibly good in neutral. Uh, alongside his far slash and his BTs. Notice how much Gobo does jump, air dash, BT, because it's really hard to anti-air. Like, it's hard to deal with. That's n super negative on block. I think you just try to do a reversal BT in a mid. Oh, no. This round is almost over. Yeah, so that was pre-wall splat, by the way, and he was going to build super. So the damage on this, this is, again, he was going to wall splat with that BT and then be pretty close to super, and the damage was from full life. I mean, pre-wall splat, you know, he was basically almost dead. This is a, something important about the matchup, too, actually, is that drone, he can just spin through the, the drone. If you have a good answer to this, it's really important in the matchup because this move is... <laughs> fucked up thunderbird i called it thunderbolt this one the drone is this move is fucked up if your character does not have a good answer to it you're yeah you're probably just fucked that was so cheap oh my god me bt oh that was good yeah anji having a counter honestly really helps that was a cool route anji has a having a counter really helps in this compared to most characters honestly a lot of characters just kind of have to deal with this pressure what a conversion, actually. This Gobo is making shit up. That confirm was absurd. Like, that is, is make-believe confirm. Is, look at this. Look at this move. This shit is so annoying. It's He did it so early. Look at how far Jiro is when he's he's poking with Jump Dust. And not only that, the character can run up and challenge with Far Slash or 2K or BT or whatever. Like, his neutral is really pesky because of this. He's already in the corner. This round's basically over. He's got burst. Yeah. And the wall splat. Not dead. Like, it's just, he just runs at you and does jump dust, and it's like, please help. Yeah, that was a little greedy to go for the skyfish. Good challenge. As soon as you saw the cancel there, 2P was a good choice. 
He, for a big guy, he does move mad quick. And most importantly, his jump that What is this angle on Obama? Most importantly, his jump does far slash 2K. They're all such good pokes, right? So, like, he is really hard to deal with for a big-ass character. At least in terms of how quick he moves. Yeah, I think the late cancel just caught him. Thunder, uh, dude. That drone is so cheap. In the corner already, incredibly plus FD. One thing about this too is he FDs, right? He FDs on the 2K. And notice, so FD on the 2K to gain space, but when you FD, this becomes more plus. This is more plus the farther away you are. So like Anji, he looks like fucking, he's seeing his Scooby-Doo villain. And Gold Lewis is running up to, to just, you know, BT on his dumb ass. And you're just stuck, right? Like it's, it's very spooky. Oh, that was a throw attack, probably. Oh, missed it. Might not, you might have to do 5k there. I, I feel like the close slash looked like it was going to work, but... That doesn't hurt. It tickles. And he's got super. PRC for the slowdown and the pressure. This might... This is, I don't think it's going to hit the back dash. Yeah. I was going to say it might, but actually he was too far. One thing that's interesting about Gold Lewis, too, is that if you churn, this is a bad round start. That is a really bad round start. Just getting hit by a button into this BT, the 6A4, is really bad. This pressure, you see me do this a lot. You see KV, other Gold Lewis players. The reason we all do 2P close slash, and the reason why Gold Lewis does this, is it's a, a frame trap if the character does not have a 4 frame normal or faster. But also combos, I think, on regular hit on crouch, and it combos on counter hit as well. So it's very good. Scary interrupt there, by the way. To like challenge there is pretty risky. So, this is the common uh, frame trap, by the way. After you block this BT, people will just do six eight four again. So if you hit a button or you try to jump or whatever, this will catch you. That's why people, by the way, don't uh, don't challenge when you block six eight or a two eight six two six eight. Excuse me. Is because they're scared that he's just gonna do that BT after counter hit them and then run up and do whatever. Okay. Side swap? No, stays in the front. Oh, no block on the burst. Oh, you're dead. Not dead. He couldn't get close slash. That's really bad. Does have super or YRC? Good block. Oh, that what the fuck? You can do that? Oh, nice. That was good. You can do this? I've never seen someone do this. Let me look at this again. What is this? Air dash? Oh, he does air dash. It was just air dash. Okay. I thought he used the, the BT to do it, but it was just the air dash. That was pretty tight. He's just like a heat seeking missile. Air BTs are also... This co is pretty solid here, too. I think going for minigun, unless you're really far away like that, is pretty bad. Um, any advice? Just keep practicing and keep, keep, uh, don't, don't switch. Don't switch off of a controller. If you're learning a new controller, it's a lot like learning a new control, a uh, new character. You can't switch. It's actually interesting. It's kind of hard for Gold Lewis to jump this, the P follow up from, from, uh, Fujin. But because he's so tall, his 5P hits Anji here. Most characters, you air to air. You just jump and air to air Anji, but he's so chunky, it's kind of hard. You don't even have to jump. You just hit 5P into BT, and then you run and do a, like a jump over, and you're out of the corner. It's, it's very good. Yeah, blocked it. That's the problem if your character is like Gold Lewis or Eno or some character that does a meaty projectile like that is Anji's, you know, counter super is very good for it. Yeah, the super is safe on block, the counter super. Yo, he's got that meter now, but Jiro not allowing me to use it. Second round we go. Is it minus one? I thought it was... Huh, I thought it was slightly more negative than that. I thought it was like minus four. But it pushes you back so far anyway, I suppose it doesn't matter. It's minus one? Damn, I thought it was more negative than that. It doesn't really matter, because the range, even if it was minus, like, seven, like, he's pretty far. 
He has burst and meter. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's a bad burst spot, too. That new buff is so useful, by the way. Nice. That was a great 6P. 6P is what you have to do to air BT like that, right? Like, if you only challenge it with grounded normal anti-airs, it's pretty hard to air anti-air BT a lot of time. If you just do, like, I don't know, a non 6P anti-air, it's very hard to deal with. Missed the close slash there. That's unfortunate. That is bad. Yeah, you really do not want to get hit by that either. Nice. Oh, man. I feel like that's like the first overhead he didn't block. That is really bad. Oh, you're dead. You, uh, there's a few combo options if you get hit by the low BT here, the one that side swaps. He tried 2P, but you can also 5P and hit him out of the air or do 5K as well. Yeah, this does a lot. It was a big turn. Sheesh, down. Two, two ass also can work too, yeah. I usually do 5P because I think it's easy. 5K also works. Yeah, caught the back dash. Look at this. This round is like... This, this round might be over. That air BT is negative, by the way, but the thing about it is that the pushback is so far that challenging after is really difficult. This staggered 2K is actually smoking him. This is a uh, punish. Mm -hmm. He only got raw Fujin because the butterfly was going to make another punish hard. Oh, this might not kill, right? If it was just close slash Ko, I feel like it definitely would have, but that's unfortunate. Yeah, nowhere to run. You're running out of meter. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to kill with that route. For three October, dropping the tier one. What up? Nice. That 5k is a great counter poke, by the way. It's a really plus. 5k is a great counter poke because the the leg here, he's got like no extended uh, hurt box when he does the stomp. This is a really good counter poke. And then this, this is mad plus, right? The low is very plus here. So then he does raw BT to try to catch like, you know, back dash, jump back, whatever it was. 5k is uh, very, very good for counter poking like that. Yikes. I love this run up here. This is really good. This is the other low. This is the other low B team. This one you get a combo off of. And he's so close, he can get close slash here. Which, you know, that is very bad if you're Jiro. He might be able to do close slash 2H into 426 BT and get the wall splat from there. Nice. That was really good to just run up and let him spin through the drone. PRC low, plus still. 2k 2d drone can't jump out yep perfect this is over there's there's no your win condition here is like basically nothing right after this happens you drone he does jump p and he's out of meter it's just over this 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 round is over because he's gonna do two he's gonna do bt 2k i mean he's gonna bt again then another bt and that was the end how do you do standing 842 uh i think he buffered it after the run right oh he, he did it here after the prc you can also do it raw but it's hard dash 842 i mean you got to be quick to do it i usually don't do the standing bts unless i have a buffer or a cancel oh lewis is scary man we've seen actually a quite a bit of the new anji stuff here right mostly used for mobility i feel like though he hasn't done too many of the the whiff cancels and stuff i say that uh, he hasn't done too many of the whiff cancels and stuff in other situations it's mostly just been using it for movement to do the slide ins and then prc after like right there that was a great jump i like that otg burst a lot too because you do you don't give him time to do anything oh there it was you don't give him time to jump over and do that that is so good and the wall splat unfortunate that the drone did it though to be honest because if it was anything else you know oh boy good pickup chip you gain so much by doing this, by the way. I think this is like one of the best uses of minigun is just doing it as a meaty and just blasting them to four. Look at how much meter he loses here. It's like he lost so much off of just like the level one minigun, like this security minigun. Yeah, the numbers refer to stick position. So if you look at numpad, 
you'll see the um like if you look at a numpad two is down six is right eight is up and four is back yeah not much you can do there he's plus 10. bt i mean you're kind of stuck he's been hit by 2d fujin a lot actually Great 6P. I think one thing about this is that Jiro seems like he knows how to fight Gold Lewis by how often he's done 6P anti-air. Most characters, you kind of have to 6P him, and you have to stand far away. If I could give some advice about Gold Lewis, no notice the range that he anti-airs him from, right? When he anti-airs, look at how far away he is from 6P. If you are close here, you cannot 6P this. I want to make this clear. Even if you 6P like the minute he goes in the air, you're not going to do it. You have to stand far away from Gold Lewis to anti -air. I will always stand like out of the range, like farther back than most moves because you cannot just like walk up and 6P him up close. Or even like with Soul 5K him up close, right? Like if you're too close, your 6P just gets dunked. So 6Ping from mad far away like this is sort of your objective a lot of times. That, if you want to make it consistent, I think some characters, I, maybe their six piece can, but as a general point of like, you know, trying to do it, that to me makes it very consistent regardless of character. Uh oh. Uh oh. Close slash after. That's a real frame trap, right? Against Anji. Oh, that's bad. Anji having spin and counter super really helped dealing with situations like that. Oh no, if that hit, he could have done Fujin Nagihan, it would have wall splat. Oh, that's bad. That is really, a really good gold burst for him. Burst? Yeah, of course. Of course. 2S? No, he just did BT. Easy combo. That's bad. That was like the first burst bait Gobo did that time, too. That gold burst was brutal. Because he had so much security gauge, too, right? This right here... This is... Yeah. This is really bad for you. Clean, easy, easy peasy bait. <laughs> Gobo. Yeah, so Gobo moves on. He plays in losers finals it's against the chip player. He lost to apparently in Winterside, right? He lost to early type in Winterside, from what I hear. This is losers finals. Find out. I mean, it's hard not to get excited. Gold Lewis is a fun character to watch. Oh my god, no. He tried to bait the bears. I didn't even get to change the quality, and the round was already almost over. Okay, let's go back. I'm not sure why he air back dash, honestly. This right here, he, he tried to bait the bears with 5k jump cancel. Notice, by the way, when he blocks Rekka, he hits 5k there with Gold Lewis. Most characters, you should know this, by the way. Most characters, you need to be ready to... Oh, that's not the BT you want there, probably. Oh, baited, but he had the meter. Most characters, when they block chip Rekka, you got to you gotta be ready to challenge. He's negative on block when he does Rekka, so... Negative on hit as well. So you have to be ready to challenge it. Like right here, got to hit a button. I love the raw BT, so that chip can't backdash. It's a good choice. I also think, as as Gold Lewis, like a lot of big characters, you have to close slash anti your chip. Oh, he, he regular tech. Uh-oh. Alpha Blade? Yeah, good block. That shit's cheap. When all you need is 6k, it really has got your back. You kind of have to... Uh, ooh, no. That is really bad. Wall Splat? Bounce? Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. That shit really hurts. The nice thing about Gold Lewis is his routing, right? He doesn't really have to hit the wall early. So, like, notice he gets this hit. He can keep you close. Like, you just get hit by this. It's unfortunate. But notice he does close slash into 248, right? This one keeps them close to you when it hits behind the back like this. And then he does close slash 2H. Then the wall bounce. Like, look at how much of this combo has already happened before the wall bounce. And then the classic. Just hit him on the wall now. That's just that's how it goes. He doesn't have to do it. This is a great PRC, by the way. <laughs> to prevent him from just being able to, uh, what's it called? Whip punish the BT. Really good. And then this setup, too. Use the, uh, what's it called? The BT into the drone for chip. I mean, you're just stuck. Great round. <laughs> if you're early type, you're just like, word, okay. 
calculate that swing. Like, mm -hmm. it's him again coming in. Look at the challenges. When Gobo gets hit by or blocks these Rekkas, he's gonna challenge with raw BT after, or a button. 5K a few times. This hurts. Yeah. That is bad though. The uh, 5K hit him as an OTG, so the BT didn't work. Yeah, you could have FD'd there. Has to RC to keep the pressure. Alpha Blade in the front. Alpha Blade in the front. Two hits. Dead. Yeah, this character has great pressure. It's very easy for this character to just dance all over you. Particularly out of the air, I think Gold Lewis, especially if you're not uh, not clean with either tagging with BT or close slash, it's kind of hard. Like right there too. It's very difficult after you whiff a uh, behemoth. Like, ship is so fast that escaping that situation is really hard. Right there, he air blocked Alpha, so kind of hard for him to do much. Look at his risk. Damn, he sent it. I like that choice. Yeah, this does pretty good damage. Oh, you burst. Any respect to the DP. Okay, he could win this. Look for the frame trap. Look at how much chip that does. He lost so much life. I like the 5k staggers, by the way. Oh, did he hit a button? No. When you do 5k stagger, 5k alpha, it's like so good because, you know, people are always looking for the alpha blade cancels and then like all of a sudden they just get hit by... A stagger on the front, and I'm like, oh shit. Or they're looking for uh, command throw. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that 5H didn't hit. His 5H is humongous. Nice. That range again. When I talked about anti airing, uh, what's it called? When I talked about anti airing this character, this range right here is 6P. You kind of have to be far back. That was a great 6P. I love that when he sees the FD, he goes for Gamma Blade, by the way. Could be a burst bait. Ah, uh, doesn't try it. I think that route is maybe a little bit better on burst, though, than... Uh, should be close, right? Probably no kill, though. I think that, that route is a little safer because you don't give them the chance to burst you out of the easy whiff punish. You don't give them the chance to burst you into the corner on the chip wall run route because on the second rep, he can burst and then put you back in the corner. Characters like him or Nagoryuki, when they try to do stuff like this to take up space, notice how easy it is for Chip to just run up and do this. Or any fast character, right? Geo. Damn, telling him to switch to Zato. Pick Heiji. Oh, that's a bad verse. You hate to see it. Damn. You see, you see how often Gobo is like trying to. That sucks. <laughs> That sucks for Gobo, not for Chip. That sucks. The drone hitting him like that, like, that is so unfortunate. What a fucking... Are you serious? That air throw was so fast. Bro, he barely got off the ground. He was so ready. This Chip player was ultra instinct. Beautiful. This is... This chip player really knows how to fight against this character. They're making really strong decisions about not only where to stand, but also what anti-air button to use. You might have the meter for RC, yep. Positive bonus did it. Nice. This chip player is sick. Really good. Really, really good. That was really well played. Chip 6P is good. And also, he was standing in the right range. That's the most important thing about anti-airing is not just like... It's not just about the button you have, it's also where you stand. If you do it in a bad range, you're gonna get smoked, right? So, you know, it's very important where you stand. That was a beatdown. This chip player is pretty sick. I see why he won earlier. Mm -hmm. Grand finals. You guys know who's in grand finals winner side, Lord Daru. I haven't seen much of Eno in this version, and I'm, you know, it's kind of why I wanted to watch ICFC. Daru's been beating everybody's ass. Uh, even before this patch. And now this character is literally Wicked Witch status, right? Doing some fucking made-up Looney Tune shit. She flies so fast. Dar is also good at this matchup too, by the way. Like, he fights against Samito, and I feel like his record... Nice! You can't burst there against this guy. You can't do it. 
he he does that so consistently. You cannot burst in that way against Daru. He's just too ready. Also, this quality defaulted to 720. Look at this. No hit, empty, 2k, 6h first hit, then cancel into the stroke to bait the burst. You're an absolute sick fuck, you know that? An absolute sick fuck. I love it. Big fan. Okay, game one. <laughs> Round one. <laughs> You just see Chip trying to be a Beyblade, and then all of a sudden just air super. Oh, that's a big counter poke. 2H is such a good starter. You get Node after, or in this case, yeah, he was trying to go for a setup instead. The one thing... Oh my god, she's so fast for Julius Caesar. What up, thanks for the five. One thing about Eno before, and you can kind of see it now too, her 6P is really good, right? But she kind of struggles to control space above her sometimes because, you know... Her air dash and air movement are so weird, right? Note this time. Yeah, I'm waiting for the DP. I kind of like that idea from Daru too. Oh, that was an interesting idea. I don't. I wonder if that was supposed to be a fast RC. The challenge could block. Not a meaty. Oh, I wonder what the plan was there. I wonder if that was supposed to be 6K RC. Nice. Oh, no cancel, though. But I do like that 6P. 6P is good because not only does it work against that, but I'm sure that it probably works against Alpha Blade cancel, too, right? Or Air Alpha. And also the other one, um, if he cancels into uh, Command Throw. Most characters, if you if you don't know their gamers, you can do something like that to hit Chip if he's going to cancel into... If he's just like autopilot Alpha Blade, Ground, or Air, or Command Throw... Then you usually have a button that can do something. I like this pressure again. Doesn't try to bait the burst, but I think hitting the 6P and then just taking the note is pretty good. Oh, what? His 6H hit stroke? Uh oh. That's bad. Ah, ready. Nice. This is big. It didn't kill that. Jump K. That was so unfortunate. 2D, no. Empty low, 2K, chemical love. This combo's on standing, right? So that's why it hits. Ah, oh, it, it did so much. I think the RC there just to guarantee the pressure was smart too. Yeah, 2K, chemical love with standing only. It does not work on crouching hit. And also no one's gonna block low there. It's too far. Oh, what the hell? I, I wonder if that was supposed to be an air-to-air -air attempt. Wow. High B, 6P challenge. Double chemical love. Oh, didn't kill. I've seen him do that route before. Yeah, and then the slash stroke. I think that's all the same kind of route as before. The only thing that I've seen really is the, uh, what's it called? Oh my God, she's fast. The only thing I've seen is how quick she is, which I was just going to say has been a big factor so far. Look at the distance she just covered. Word. I also, I forgot about the 2k change as well. God, she's so fast. Oh my god, help. I, yeah, GG. Well played. Big fan. Help. Help me. That was an entire game. She's so fast. That air throw at the start was absurd, by the way. Stroke. Oh no. That right there, yeah, that, that delayed burst was good because that stroke was supposed to bait the burst. 6H, no cancel. I like the no cancel, by the way. Because if you just do 6H cancel and the heavy stroke right there, you might get back thrown or something. I think just waiting is really smart. She is so fast. And I think not only is she fast as well, but I like how often we're seeing, uh, what's it called, the the 2K change. Like, um, 2K now having less knockback is pretty important. Take the knockdown. Yes, nice. That was great of Daru not to challenge. I think I talked about this during EU Evo, and I remember saying, like, I think it was Ken Deep or something, jump back and try to hit a button here. You really can't. I, I know it seems like you should be able to, but you really have to do something like this, right? The command throw recovery is so fast. If you're not already punishing it, there's not much you can do. Yeah, this is uh, Tenno Media's YouTube channel. Not Obama's, it's on Tenno's. 
Oh, no safe jump. Just went for 2k. Look at that. That's a really good challenge. It, it's not going to work, though, if he crouches, but I like it. I like 2k and uh, chemical up. He's, I think he uses it quite a lot, and honestly, it is a really good thing to have. Wall splat, super, dead. Yeah, less knockback is important. It doesn't really matter that much about chemical love. Like, 2k, 2k chemical love before worked as well, but it, stuff like that is a great example. This is two buffs together. 2k has less knockback, so 2d will combo more consistently after. They also made 2k, or 2d keep you a little closer to make the note more meaty after. So this is a really good change for the character. It makes, oh, baited. That feels bad. She has super here too, you just super, yeah. Chip, goes low. He actually beat the hell out of early type. Early type looks so good. This is brutal, by the way. Because, uh, you know, the meter build here, I mean, when that chemical love hits, this is, I mean, what are you going to do? You spend, look at how much meter you drain, FD it, and then immediately just goes 2k. Could be 2k, could be air dash, could be air dash low, could be air dash throw. You know, there's a lot of options here. Immediate 2k. Dude, that was brutal. It's like a very satisfying buff to just have your 2k 2d work more consistently. It's something that on paper is very small, but like it's really cool. Oh, they showed this off later. Nice. They're doing a series of exhibitions. My assumption is that they're going to do exhibitions for each region. I think they've only announced this, right? But I assume they're going to do exhibitions for all the regions, which is cool. Daru versus Gobo, I'm excited for. I hate playing that matchup as Gold Lewis. I'm trying to learn. The Eno Discord has been trying to figure out what Gobo will do in the matchup, and it's not looking good for him. So I'm not like, I don't main Gold Lewis. But every time I play him... And I play him quite a bit. I actually feel like Eno is the matchup I'm the most lost in. His like che checks are pretty bad for a lot of the stuff she wants to do. And yeah, I don't know what she. I don't know what he does. That's a good question. I really want to see. I I hope he comes up with some good shit.